All right, welcome back. Uh, so today we are going to go after this silver chloride or silver sulfide. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna decant it. We're gonna wash it. And uh, I don't have sulfuric acid, so we are going to use aluminum and hydrochloric acid to go after that. And so I have to glove up and then get this ready and spool it up for your entertainment and viewing pleasures. So, come back. All right, safety first. So welcome back. Uh, we are going to displace some of the copper with the iron and um, just, you know, capture some of that. I don't really feel like putting it into a stock pot or recovering it into my secondary uh, bucket. So we're going to heat up this copper nitrate to reduce it for the next experiment. And you can see here that I am heating up the chlorides to uh, put the, any lead in solution because it's water soluble and then uh, pour it into my bucket over here for my silver chloride bucket. It's really a container, my 50 jar, but let me slide on that one. And then, like I said, we're going to use the hydrochloric acid and some aluminum to go after that silver. So that's it for the silver plating and uh, we'll come back. So we have our gloves on, our glasses on. I put the aluminum in there so I don't have to worry about splashing. And we're going to add a little muriatic acid. And we're going to stir it around. And we're going to see what happens here, all right? All right, so you can see here, it's starting to have a reaction. Um, and it's uh, turning out pretty good. I don't know what we're going to have here. I'm trying to make sure we don't have a boil over. But uh, it's definitely changing to silver. And uh, we'll just kind of stir it around a little. See if we check out that piece of aluminum. So you can see the silver is forming on it. That's pretty cool, man. i got to tell you, I've been just using sulfuric acid, weak sulfuric acid and nails to do it. I've used sugar and lye. This is my first time using hydrochloric acid and aluminum, so we're going to come back and see how that really goes. I'll give you a little sneak peek of the acid working. Everybody loves to see that stuff. So, I probably should put a cover on it. Let's pretend like we're what we're doing today. So we got a little cover on it, and we'll come back in a couple of minutes and see how this has come along. So there's your silver. We're going to strain that and take a look at it. Man, that doesn't look too bad. That was actually pretty quick. So Mike and the silver stole us, uh, and whoever else on Gold Refining Forum has done this before, man. I got to say, it's that's a pretty neat trick there. So we're going to use my infamous coffee filter coffee set up I got had an old roommate leave it so uh, I'm going to use it I'll just pour that off right now 
Look at that silver, man. That's, that's pretty good. That's from the silver plated stuff. So we're going to get a weight eventually and uh, have some good data. So this is the second rinse. Um, really, man, it's not looking bad. I'm kind of impressed with that method. Uh, you know, we'll get a, like I said, get a weight on it and clean it up real good. This is part of it where I pour off the rinse into it. And I've totally got to keep this out of my waste stream. Hydrochloric acid and aluminum. I'm probably going to treat that with baking soda or lye. Get the uh, pH down and figure out a safe way to dispose of that. The copper is coming out on the iron pretty well. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll get a look on that in a couple of days, man. But that's what we have going on today. Uh, silver recovery with hydrochloric acid and aluminum. And uh, man, I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with it. It went really well. Um, you know, the problem is cleaning that aluminum up uh, with uh, the rinses to get all that uh, hydrochloric acid out. So we'll see, man. I'm gonna run this through the cell anyway. And, uh, you know, we'll continue on. So again, this was the cement from the hydrochloric acid and aluminum. And this is what the aluminum looks afterwards, it's a little oxidized. But, uh, you know, I'll continue on for the next one, man. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. Cody and, and Mike, man, you guys did a good job on that. I'm not going to lie, that's a, that's a pretty good method. So we're uh, doing a little pH test. I say it's still at a three. We probably should wait till it's, you know, somewhere in between here. So we still have some hydrochloric acid and it's going to need plenty more rinses.